Hello, I'm Nanette and welcome to Nanette Chocolates. In today's demonstration, I shall be putting together a very special chocolate hamper for you. So today I am just going to show you how I might put together a collection of chocolate items into a chocolate hamper. Uh, you might have come across this on my website and really the sky is the limit with regards to what you'd like me to include in your hamper for you um, and I've got a few items here which I'm just going to just show you how I might assemble the hamper for you but these are perfect for example for you just to show your appreciation for whatever the reason to friends and family or people that you work with so just some ideas but just let me know if this is something of interest to you um, and we can discuss about what kind of things you might want to include. But just have a look at this and see what you think. So I might start off by just making the basket itself look pretty. So it's just tucking in a bit of tissue paper around the edges like that. Just so you get a bit of background for the chocolates and something for the chocolates to sit in. One last bit around that edge. Just like that. Okay. So, I'm going to put first of all a box of 24 truffles. These are espresso truffles, for example, but obviously, if there are flavours that grab your attention, then um, let me know. I might also chuck in a bag of honeycomb, like that, for example. And how about We've got an orange box there, how about a green box there of Easter eggs. So this is a dark chocolate Easter egg and I have got mini eggs around the outside which contain ginger salted caramel which is one of the best selling flavours that I sell at the moment. So I'll just rearrange that to make it look pretty. I have no idea what it looks like from your angle, hope it looks nice. So these chocolate bombs are quite fun as well. So you pour on hot milk with those and you might have seen those in my other demonstrations and the hot milk will melt the shell inside which are mini marshmallows which will bob up to the top of your cup to create a bit of theatre in the mug for a bit of hot chocolate. So we can put one of those in there as well. And then I've got a range of chocolate bars or slabs uh, with various toppings. I might put a, a white one down there as well, just for a bit of contrast. And then we have some shards of single origin chocolate. This one is from Brazil, for example, which has a 66.8% cocoa content. Um, so it's not too strong, it's not bitter, but it does have lots and lots of flavour and some really interesting kind of smoky aftertaste going on there as well. So we can slide one of those in. This one here is ruby chocolate. So if you've never tried ruby chocolate, this is quite interesting. It's naturally this colour and naturally the, uh, a flavour which has, resembles something like a red fruit. Nothing added, nothing taken away. This is how it comes off the pod. So that's always worthwhile having a little try as well. Um, and then just to fill in some gaps, oh, this is quite fun too. This is a kit where you can spend a happy half hour with the small people in your life making uh, marshmallow lollipops. So you've got uh, everything you need in this bag here uh, with four lollipop sticks with which you can make your own lollipops and they will come with instructions as well so you also have the added benefit of becoming an expert at tempering chocolate at the end of the process too and then something just to fill in a few gaps with a couple of lollipops there as well so what i'm going to do next is try and make it look pretty in a bit of cellophane wrapping paper So here we have it, the finished chocolate hamper. This one has, as you've seen, a huge collection of different things in there. You can put in your hamper how little or how much you would like and the website where you can find the hampers have a different range of price points that would make sense to you. Um, but if there's something particular that you'd like to be included in your hamper, then just get in touch with me through the website or pick up the phone and talk to me and then we can find something that makes sense to you. Thank you very much for watching my demonstration. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I would love to know what you think, so please get in touch, which you can do so via my website if you'd like to. I'd love to know 
also what you'd like me to show you in chocolate going forward. Just let me know your ideas. If you're watching me on YouTube, thank you. Please hit the notification bell and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Thank you.